welcome to my March 2017 Disneyland Paris haul. So I got back from Disneyland Paris two days ago. I went for four days and I had two days in the parks and I kind of went back to see all my friends that still work there and just to see like Magic on Parade and um, all the things before it all changes for the 25th um, because uh, Magic on Parade and things are quite special to me. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to see everything before it finally changed to the new stuff. Um, I heard a lot about the new stuff while I was there from friends that are going to be in the parades and it all sounds really exciting. Um, I listened to the parade music and I wasn't a fan so I'm a little bit apprehensive at the moment about how it's going to go um, and if I'm going to like it but I guess I'm so used to Magic on Parade that anything that's different is going to be hard to get used to at first. Um, but yeah, so anyway, I when I first got there I thought I know exactly what I want to buy. And it was mainly um, plushes. I wanted I wanted um, Elliot from Pete's Dragon, the new one, and I wanted a big Pua, and I didn't have either of those. They had like no Pua at all. They didn't have any plush from Moana at all. Um, but yeah, so, and when I first walked around on the first day, I didn't really see much that I wanted. Um, I. I didn't really know what I wanted or if I even wanted anything. Um, I usually go for some pins and yeah, I just didn't see anything. I saw one Minnie Mouse bowl that was gorgeous. It was huge, so you could have like soup or a huge cup of tea or anything. Um, and I wanted that, but I didn't get it because I thought getting that home would be hard. Um, so yeah, I didn't get that, but I managed to get a few things. I also bought a couple of things from Primark because there is a Primark at Lille and that is where I stopped over for my Eurostar. I had like a two hour wait and um, yeah, so I popped over and found the Primark and bought a couple of things. Um, they had some really cool stuff and yeah, it was pretty, it was like cheap as well for, for the Euro and for France. So yeah, so I will start, I will show you the things I bought from Primark first. Um, I really didn't buy that much, there's only like two things, but I'll show you anyway. Um, so the first thing is this Minnie Mouse watch. Um, I've not seen this in the UK, I have seen a couple of, of Disney watches and I haven't actually bought any of them because I wasn't, I didn't really like them. Um, but I saw this and how amazing is it that it has the red strap and it has Minnie and she has like little geeky glasses on which is so cute. Um, it's not working at the moment, um, I need to put some batteries in, but yeah, it was eight euros as you can see, and look at the little Mickey and Minnie at the bottom, that's really cute. So yeah, I got that as my first thing. Um, second thing, I saw these leggings, they have a t-shirt to match, but I didn't really like the t-shirt. Um, you may have seen that I've already got some Mickey Mouse leggings, they're black, and they say Mickey Mouse down them, and I wear them all the time, so I bought these ones, and they're grey and they have like the Mickey Mouse down this side and they have like the sketch Mickey which I love and yeah it says Mickey Mouse and these were again eight euros so not too bad and yeah I they had loads of sizes I got them in a size six because they usually fit for me and my others were that size so I thought I'd get the same so I will start with my actual Disneyland Paris stuff and I'll start with ears. So these are, um, I think there's two that you can buy, but these I actually bought on the very first day in the Disney Village. These I just had to get um, and they were from the new um, 25th range. They are so nice. I love the gold, the gold and black and yeah, so this is what they look like and I saw quite a few people with these on and they also had um, some ones that were black and they had a purple bow and it had like stars on or something and they were also for the 25th because the merchandise there was like blue and purple kind of theme and then there was like Tinkerbell's theme which was gold and creams and I love that and so I think these are kind of from there. So that was my first thing. Um, we'll go for this because this is, I bought it obviously, but it was kind of part of a meal and you will have definitely seen this in other people's hauls, but it is the BB-8 
um, souvenir cup that you can get. I got this from the uh, Vidiopolis, uh, which is where you can go and get some food. And we had the Darth Vader burger, which is the black bun. And we had the Yoda cupcake and the BB-8. So we had a full on Star Wars meal, which was amazing. And yeah, I just had to, had to get this. I mean, I have so many BB-8 things. I have a BB-8 mug already, which like his head comes off and I have an actual BB-8, the one that you get from the Disney store. So this kind of added to it. I've not even used it yet, but it's so cool because that is how you open it. Like, it's just really cool. So, oh yeah, I did actually put, that's like black stuff in it. That is from the Coke that I had. Um, Cause I took the straw out and had to use it because I forgot to get a straw. So yeah, um, this, that's BB-8. So the next thing I got was this, um, Mickey Mouse. I saw him in um, the Fantasyland shop next to the carousel. Um, it's like, oh, I don't know, it's one of the big like beanstalk coming out there. I can't remember the name. I thought it was like Sir Mickey's, but I don't think it is. Um, yeah, I saw him and my favourite Mickey costume is Sorcerer Mickey, apart from Steamboat Willie. And I just love it. And I really, I just love him in that costume. And so, this is what I bought. Look how perfect he is, like as Mickey, and there's his little costume and his hat and his little shoes. So yeah, I love him. And basically, I went to meet Mickey and met Mickey and was like, look, I have a you, like a mini you. So I got a picture of Mickey, which I put here, um, holding this one, and he's so cute. Like, I think Mickey and Minnie now look amazing to say how old they are they look really really good and he looks so cute yeah, so the next thing I'll, I'll do the other plush that i got oh my god i saw these they did these in three or four of the characters from the winnie the pooh family but i saw i didn't see this one till last and i was like oh my god and it is baby eeyore oh my god look at that how adorable is that they do have Winnie and Tigger and maybe Tiggler and they look cute. Winnie looks a bit weird because they, if you notice, they've got really big heads um, compared to the body. Um, oh, his, his tail doesn't actually detach as well, you know, it's just kind of stuck. Um, but they've got really big heads and they look really baby-like. But how adorable is that? So cute. Um, yeah, so I looked at him for ages, kept like picking him up in the shops. And on the second day in the park, um, my cast member friend, her friend was in the park and so we went around together and he, he kept seeing me pick it up and was like, just buy it, just get it. And he was, uh, oh, he was, I believe, 19.99, I think, which is not that bad, to be honest, because look how cute he is. He's a really nice size as well. And yeah, he's just the sweetest. And then I bought, um this mug um this i kind of wanted this because the one that i bought when i was there last time um i bought in the cast member shop jessica's and i love it they actually still sell it because i saw it and it's the um the, the mug it's like a tea holder i don't even know what they're called like a flask and it has mickey on it it's silver and it has like this sketch mickey on it and but the one of mine is like the Mickey's rubbing off and I was like no so I have seen this before I think they've sold it for quite a long time but it is the Walt Disney Studios one so I just I love films I love acting and behind the scenes of films as well and so this was so cool it says the Walt Disney Studios par Paris and it says staff so I just think it's really nice it's this really nice textured and um, black um, it's the same uh, thing as my other one where you just like pull the lid up like that um, and yeah so and then you just put whatever you want in there but yeah I had seen this and I was like yeah I want to get that because I have I have a reason to get this so yeah uh, the next thing I bought was one of those where if you spent so much you would get this for a certain price and I'm going on holiday to Dubai this year and also to Mallorca, I don't know, <laughs> I think it's Mallorca. And so I was like, I need a towel. And 
I saw this in the studios and was like, I need this. So um, I bought alongside this, my cat, my friend Kat, who works there, bought some Sumsums and because that went over 25 euros, we could get this. Um, I've not took it out of the package yet. Um, it should have been 19.99, which again is, is okay, but for 9.99, that's obviously a lot better. And it's a Mickey Mouse, also a Mickey towel. I've not opened it yet, so I'm gonna open it right now. Um, yeah, so they had them like on these little hangers and I was like, oh, can I get this? And he was like, no, I'll get you a new one. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna stand up and look at that. How awesome is that? So yeah, it's like full Mickey on a towel. That is the best towel you can get, really. Um, yeah, so again, like I said, because obviously Saucer and Mickey's my favorite anyway, I could not get this towel and I was like, I actually need a towel. So there we go. Um, next, I am gonna do pins. Um, I have four pins. Um, yeah, so the first two I got from the Disneyland Hotel. Um, the first one I'd seen in the World of Disney store, like the big one, but I thought, no, it's the first day, like I'll wait. And then I saw it again and I just love it. It is the Up House. Look at that, like, and bec the, the balloons are like the little little balls, the colored balls, so I think that's freaking amazing. It is the rose colored one, the pink one, so it's like, $12.99 I think so it is the dearest one it has it's nice because it has the two clips on the back so it's really secure I'll take it out of this so you can see it a bit better oh it's amazing and they like moving around but yeah look at that that is so freaking awesome so yeah that's my first one the second one I don't really know it doesn't really like represent anything in particular like of Disney, I just I really like it. It is um it's Mickey's head um with a little dangly thing. It almost looks like a curtain holder thing, but I just really liked it and I think it's part of the 25th one. Um but yeah I just thought it was different and I just like stuff like that. That was the orange colour which I have no idea how much that is so sorry guys. Um someone will be able to say. Uh this one is I also saw it in the Disneyland Hotel, and but I didn't get it at first. Um, I did go and get it at the last day um, when I had time to kind of walk around, but it's gorgeous. And I love it because it's such a distinct part of your trip, even if you don't realize it. When you walk towards the park, you see the Disneyland Hotel and you see the big Mickey clock with his hands like pointing to the time. And that for me is like, you know you're at Disney when you see that. So for them to have this pin, kind of like, I, I had to get it. Um, so obviously, as you can see, it is the huge Mickey clock. And underneath, um, it has the gorgeous Disneyland Hotel, like the whole thing in gold. And it says Disneyland Hotel underneath it. And yeah, it's just, it's, it's really nice. Um, again, it's got two holders at the back. And as you can see, it's the, the rose colored one. So it was the most expensive, but I don't mind because it's it, you can tell it would be it was really nice yeah so the last one that I got I'd not seen at all and I saw this in the New York Hotel and also the Newport Bay so I've noticed a lot of the hotels have pins that sometimes the, the shops don't so if you're ever kind of looking for pins try and go around the hotels too because they seem to have good good stuff um, like literally all four of these pins are from the hotels and not from in the park um, I mean the up one and the Mickey dangly one is can be found in the parks, but the other two, I didn't see them. So yeah, um, it is again for the 25th anniversary. Uh, I took it off the thing because I actually put it on um, on my last day, but it's gorgeous. Uh, it is Tinkerbell with her wand and her wand is blue and look how nice that is. It's a really big one as well, like if you look how big it is, it's almost like a brooch. I'll try and change the there we go it's almost like um, a brooch sort of thing because it's that big but yeah how gorgeous is that it's all um it's got like the jewels in it and her wings and yeah it's just beautiful 
I believe because of how big she is in and because it was on the 25th that was like 16.99 uh, yeah, so she was $16.99, um, but I just, I really had to have that because I loved it, so yeah. Okay, so last but not least is something I saw on my very last day in the World of Disney store that I'd not seen at all before. Photo holder, you, it holds three photos, um, and it was basically kind of a, it had all the different lands on it, and yeah, so I went for this, um, sadly, Basically, there was like two of them which didn't have, there's an, there's an Alice in a teacup and every single one apart from like one or two, like was beheaded, <laughs> like there was no head on it and I was like, yep, get this one because it's a nice one. I got home and she had broken. So basically, I just need to get some super glue and stick it back on. So as of right now, she is broken. Um, but it'll be fine because I've still got it and I'll just stick it back on and it's fine. I'm just trying to like sort where she should be. So yeah, as you can see, because I've held it up now, it is this. How nice is this? So it is a soul cover, as you can see. There's Alice, all beheaded. So I'm going to put her over here so I don't lose it. Um, yeah, so it's basically like an overview of Disney. So it's got Mickey and Minnie with like their cameras being all touristy. It's got the big castle in the middle. It has obviously this should represent Fantasyland, Space Mountain, uh, Skull Rock for Adventureland, and oh, my favourite Big Thunder Mountain at the back. And look how detailed it is at the back, like the shack at the back and stuff. And even better, look at the three photo holders. There's the pirate ga galleon from Peter Pan with actual Peter Pan sat on there. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to like sort out the lighting so you can see. Um, yeah, there's Stitch on Orbitron and there's Dumbo the Flying Elephant and Donald's and Donald is on Dumbo which is just like the detail is so cool on here that yeah, you don't realise how much is actually on this. Um, so yeah, this was... $29.99 as you can see underneath there and I think I made the right choice because it just basically just represents the whole park and I can put three of my photos from my time here this time and so yeah that's what I chose I just need to sort out Alice put it back together and that will be fine um yeah so that is pretty much everything I bought from Disney um I didn't buy loads because I didn't really want, sorry I keep moving about, uh, I didn't really want loads um, but when I saw like the plushies and stuff I was like I'm not going to buy any more um, but I had to because they were just too cute. Uh, the last thing that I am going to show though is from the King's Cross Harry Potter shop, uh, the platform nine and three quarters one. I had seen these before, I saw them when I went to the studio tour. I'm just in King's Cross anyway, and they, they look like the Pandora bracelets, like the leather ones, um, but obviously not as good quality because they were really cheap, like li literally six quid. And I bought um, the actual bracelet and a charm when I was going to Disney and then bought another charm when I came back. So I will show you, I put them all on sale now. And it's this, I chose uh, the Golden Snitch and also the Deathly Hallows charm um, to put on it. They had like Hedwig and something else, I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, so they were my favourite charms and it's actually really nice, like I love Harry Potter and that's quite a um, not in your face way of, of having Harry Potter in your life, like every day, so um, yeah, I really liked that. So basically that is everything I bought, um, I hope you enjoyed and it kind of gave you a overview of kind of what things were selling, they still sell a lot of the same stuff from like the last couple of years so you'll see the 25th stuff is gorgeous and especially like the Tinkerbell stuff. They have um, one thing I did hear which I'm really praying is not true is Tinkerbell although she is a huge part of the merchandise and a huge part of the 25th as you see like all the stuff she's not in any of it she's not in the parade she's not in the show so i'm praying as you know tinkerbell's my favorite that's not true because i would be really sad 
and you can not have things sell at Disney's because she's such a big part of it and like half of the merchandise is based off of her so please Disney put Tink in it please praying don't judge me <laughs> and maybe she'll be put in the Christmas break she is in the Christmas break um but yeah that's just my little rant about that because I love Tink and she can't not be um so yeah I hope you enjoyed that I have actually done a bit of a video like a vlog uh going to the parks and stuff like that so um, there'll be lots of photos going up on my instagram so if you want to follow that it's jessie am 22 um i'll put it down below anyway so yeah i hope you enjoyed if you have any questions about disney or if you're going on a trip as a cast as a former cast member who who worked there like if you have any questions i'm really happy to answer i'd love to help you as great to do this haul and I will see you all soon. Bye!